Yes, yes, we do. Fucking right. Well, then, um, expand then. Yes. So, are we in a new place? We are. No. Where are we? Where are we? We are in Lovitz. Is that what we love? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's the main man himself, Mr. Liam Thompson. Hello, Liam. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for hosting. Well, how, how, are you? how are you? Cheers. I'm all good. How are you? I'm very well. I'm all the better for seeing you. Acting like I've not been talking for the last time. I know, exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Just, just for the assignment, you're going to get a letter. <laughs> I mean, thank God for you, because imagine you were trying to do this this whole time with us. Being an absolute nightmare, really. Hot. Nah. But anyway, so, <laughs> now for something completely different, <clears throat> as we were just said. Yes. We're going to leave for a wee bit of a normal football podcast. Uh, soccer. 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 Yeah. As we thought in the battle. Yeah, we'll talk about a bit of sports later, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. We thought, how can we expand our realm? How can we talk about something different to keep the dozens of people that watch this podcast <laughs> interested? Exactly. <laughs> For the zero American football fans, eh? We're wanting to, we're wanting to break America, so we'll come to you. We're we'll coming to gain the fans, that's what yeah. we're here for. Exactly. Oh so we thought, me and Mark know a few guys who've got their own businesses and they're out on these. It's yes. been a bit of a difficult time for you guys in the past year or so. We thought, let's see how he's been getting on. Mm-hmm. And he gives us an excuse to come into a different place now that the pub's a bit busier and it'll be a bit loud. Try to film stuff while guys go, can you get a pint? Aye. What do you mean you've got to use a fucking app? <laughs> 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 I've got to go back to the day. I've only got 50. I play for United, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but I sort of thought, we'll do a wee bit of a change. Yeah, and this is the start of the week branching out for us. Exactly. So, Liam, we're in Lovitz. Formerly, yes. this is Lovitz Barber Shop, of course. Yes. So tell us, how did your journey into the barber and world start? Well, I was originally a hairdresser. Mm-hmm. Went off my dad. And then, just as the years went on, I just ended up specialising in cutting men's hair. And then, used to have Mrs. Lovitz, it used to be a small little shop, just me and my business partner, a little family owned thing, and then it just kind of exploded, and I went up to three shops. And then, yeah, dropped the Mrs., became Lovitz. Mm-hmm. Just tried to modernise it a bit, you know? Well, you didn't dump your actual Mrs., did you? No. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Just make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the time of the podcast, and this was true. Imagine, <laughs> imagine this is how Faye found out, and she was like, What? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This is? You're 25 weeks pregnant. You're yeah. not. <laughs> uh, if you are going to dump your Mrs., feel free to come on to the Perfect Balance podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you want me to make what was that? The, you know the disclaimer is, if you've been affected by any issues in the episode, contact this number here. <laughs> yeah, so. This number here. Never bounce home. Just like you the phone, bro. The jive. The jive. So you said you've got three shops now. Yes. You've got this one. Yeah. This is not what well, was the new spot, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so once we kind of moved on and done our own thing, so it was me and Emily, my business partner original. And then this was the first one that we done that branched out because things just went really well. Uh, got a bigger one in Dundee, so brought it very Dundee, and then just after the last lockdown, went and opened one up in Aberdeen. See, that's why I find amazing, eh? I was telling you this. During COVID, everyone's been downsizing, offices have been shut, yeah. people work from home. You've gone the other way, you're like, it's possible, that's amazing. Well, it's, it's that thing, man. We're obviously a shite time for everybody, but you know, you just got to be organised, keep cash in the bank, don't overstretch yourself, and then. Ride the wave, you know? Yeah, so, so, you like, so was that in the plan anyway to like all go well, on? Well, we always wanted, wanted to open more shops, man, but it's just kind of taking it as it comes, you know? Yeah. And then an opportunity just opened up for Aberdeen. One of our guys that worked here at Outworks moved up to Aberdeen, so that was just kind of the plan that we wanted to open some place for him, you know? That'd be good. Expand it, brilliant. Yeah. All, yeah. all of Scotland soon. Well, yeah, we're getting there, man. Edinburgh and Glasgow coming soon. Oh, we'll just see. We'll, <laughs> just see. We'll, we'll see. We'll see, yeah. We'll wait till Aberdeen's established, man, and then just take it from there, you know? Got to work on the empire. Exactly. Yeah. So you got to go from like Lord Shackland to like Johnny Hayes and stuff like that. <laughs> Robots, we're we're talk I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, I wish I knew Johnny Hayes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good guy. Good guy. <laughs> Look up Johnny Swindle. He's one of the best players in the is he? Oh. I'll insert American football players in the, the comments as soon as we go. Johnny Hayes. Some of you are wrong. I don't know why any of the football guys come in, man. You've got to like, know what I'm talking about, you know? Hi. Offside, yeah, yeah. We were saying that back then. It's like the IT crowd. We were like, yeah, five yard penalty. Did you see that ludicrous display last night? He's a bit of a pony on West Ham. <laughs> what luck. <laughs> Did alright this season, Bobby Phil. But yeah, so we're like, what, like I said, I mean, there's loads of businesses that have downsized during COVID, and yeah, you guys have like, maybe you've had that foresight to have kept a bit of money back on, then up to COVID. So how's it been? Trying to do this through COVID, like obviously you're shut for so long and opening and shut again. Well, yeah, we're opening and shut 
and then it was kind of like unfortunate for a lot of guys, you know, because they didn't really get any help. But if you own businesses, you know, you're working on the ramps and stuff like that. So, because that was the thing, because I remember hearing that, like, um, I, 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 my job, I work the whole way through, and I think you were the same. Yeah. But um, well, Simon, you might be the same as Liam. I know, for example, like, say I worked somewhere, I got put on the front door. I got what was it eight percent of wages, and then you got yeah. and, and you was it usually so you so you so it for a and they would get top up. But I know that like for like maybe like business owners and stuff or whatever, you just like got nothing. Was that, was that okay, so for business owners, I think it depends what you've done. Like if you actually owned like a shop front, I think you were getting your ramps now. Just because of the way our business works, I myself was able to get furloughed, but then you know a lot of the guys, well everybody that works in here, Barney and Emily, self employed, so <clears throat> I think it's pretty tough for them, but. That's what it is, man. You know, you just gotta get get by it, make some money now that it's coming in. Exactly. At least that's it. At least you can yeah, everyone will stay there. Yeah, come. That's for sure. Business will be yeah, it was crazy the first couple of weeks. <laughs> but that's why you got open new shops because everybody needs a haircut. That's a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. I tried yeah, to get a booking when you opened. You were literally booked for like over a month. So I was like, uh, you only do three hours a week for me, do you? Know? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, came in, I came in from the haircut and I was booked with somebody else and he was like, oh, I'm not cutting you here today. I was like, I know that's a mess, I need somebody else to do it. <laughs> imagine, imagine cheating on your bar, right? Yeah, okay, that's sure. Okay, we'll get on to that later. That, that's, oh, oh, that's, really? that's something that... Um, it, it's the same. Uh, well, that's... Fuck <laughs> off, let's talk about it now. Yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, when you like, see oh, somebody... Have I fucked the schedule? No, no, that's fine. There's no no <laughs> punch in the How big a deal is that? Because you hear nah, about it as being a thing. Nah, you just, well, I know it winds a lot of people up, doesn't wind you up too much unless like they cheat on you and then the other barber gave you an absolute belt of okay. it. But, <laughs> nah, you've got to wind something up about yeah. it. So you, you walk past me and go, what's the for all that? I'm not calling you here again. No, nah, I definitely didn't go home to my bed that night and cry. But yeah. <laughs> I've not seen you for like... Just a standard Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen you for six months and your hair's not long. Like, what's, what's going on? Genetics, <laughs> <Well, laughs> <I, laughs> mate. <laughs> I'm slow growing hair. <laughs> Honestly, Liam, yeah, I didn't cheat on you. Oh, I know. It must be a bit satisfying if you see them a really bad like, haircut when you walk past them in the street and, you, and you've never seen them again. You're like, you don't agree that's justice, man. You know, if somebody's not like willing to wait for an appointment and that will get fucked up somewhere else, and you're just like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm better than them. <laughs> Come crawling back. Yeah. Oh, should you get that? I'm acting like I'm being all spiteful with that. I normally just don't say anything. It's too much of a pat. Same thing, but like. Uh, Think tattoo art. Like, I got my tattoo, not tattoo, but they think tattoo art. So like that as well. Like, yeah, yeah, they come yeah, in and yeah. see you. Well, oh, you got that done, did you? No, oh, you didn't know yeah. that last time. They don't mind, like, but they really do not like doing cover ups. They hate it. Yeah. Cover up. Yeah, so I've never had a cover up. I definitely need some. But <laughs> <laughs> well, how often does that happen? You come in with like somebody who's had like a dodgy haircut. Like, can you fix this? <laughs> oh, so the first lockdown was atrocious, man. I only need to give you some photos of yeah. the ones that I took for after or something. Simon, insert. Yeah, I'll yeah. insert <laughs> at the end. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll be like, support your local barber and your own personal life. Nice. <laughs> so it was, it was the, the first lockdown when we ran a competition when we were like, the best home haircut will get a free haircut and then the worst home haircut will get a free haircut as well. And I think like, we maybe had maybe like 30 people enter, you know, they're like nothing crazy, but it was like, so it, was, well, it, was about, like, it was about 28 bad ones and then it was like two, Two good ones. Yeah. You know? Do you think there was anybody that purposely gave himself a bad one to get a freebie and say, oh yeah. fuck, I didn't get it, I don't have my hair cut now. <laughs> so it's like, just like half shaved in the rest of them. They got to the rest of them, there's no hair there in the rest of them. Did you see that video of the, the boy? I want my hair up Ronaldo. Oh, yeah. like, so he, like, he was thinking Cristiano, like, all the <laughs> There's only one Ronaldo. And then the guy, there's only one Ronaldo, so he's got like, a cup of it. Yeah, but it's not fat Ronaldo, you're not interested. He's like, you can make the fucking triangle, and that's that. <laughs> so, do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> I never, I never got that, it was because my dad was a hairdresser, so like when, what, it was like 2002 World Cup, was yeah, it? Yeah. and I had it, and I was like, I wanted it, but dad was like, absolutely not a chance, and every other kid in school was going around looking absolutely fucking dickhead. That's it, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. World Cup. I'm reading it off like Q notes. Yeah. Off, so <laughs> well, you can't see that. It's one of the cards. Ronaldo? Rolando. <laughs> 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 Because <laughs> 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 I did, but my mum again was like, no. But what, 
I mean, as we were mentioning the off cam, yeah. uh, the, the big thing at that time was the tram lines and whatnot, yeah. wasn't it? Or oh, the V, the V, oh, yeah. the, 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 the total 90 end of the side yeah. of the head. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that, I think I had a guy called Stoddard in Bulgaria, and he got, like, got, like, got like green and green and white highlights in his hair. I thought yeah. the cup final, and I was like, I've won this, I won this. And I'm like, no sort of names going around the school with fucking green and white hair like that. And like, well, <laughs> all the rage, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> that was one thing I was going to ask you before we start, but I'll save it. Again, the, the fashion, if you want, by a lot of like, kids when we were growing up, it was like the one like an Adidas stripe or whatever, like a Nike tick in the hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's, that's, that's that, so. I, I, I personally never been one. No. No. What if you have a few? And that's what we're doing. We have the Nike ticks. Nah, man, like, I mean, well, I'll do one right now. Why? What the fuck? Sorry, man. No, Rob will kill me. The single man, they're always like, I remember seeing guys with them in school and stuff, and they were always absolutely perfect. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't know, like, fuck, that don't look right. Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> 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 well, I don't know what you're doing. Who are you doing? Sitting doing haircuts all day, and I kind of put the head on something you say, like, yeah. This is hard. Do you have, like, a favourite, like, style to do that? Yeah. If somebody comes in and says, I want something like this, yeah, just like, yes. you're like, I can go with my expertise or whatever. Yeah. I'm just all about the line. Have you seen it? 
I got through 10 minutes and it bored me. Yeah. Are you oh, serious? So boring. Fucking hell. 10 minutes and I was like, I'm done. Nah. Really? You bowed out? Yeah. <laughs> All like football encyclopedias. Like, you've never yeah. seen the Big Lebowski, man. We don't have any, any real culture. Well, no, I tell you what, I have watched. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have watched that. Yeah. Remember the Big Bad Bullshit yeah. from WWE? Big Bad Vita. That's probably the closest I've got. This I'm, I'm like, what? It's <laughs> <laughs> probably Glasgow called Le- 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 Lebowski's Hill. Yeah. Yeah. It's near the high road. Oh, is it, man? Oh, oh, is it? I need to watch it. Yeah. What's, what's it about? Give us a wee synopsis of the story. Yeah, yeah. Just about it. guys and houseboats and sandals, man. Drinking milk and stuff. Man. I do. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> and bowling shirts. Loads of, yeah. loads of fruit loops and bowling. Yeah, that's that's all you need to know, man. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like you know that. That sounds right on my shoe, actually. Ah, you'll love it. Yeah. Get on next time, man. Just pause the video, we'll watch it. Yeah. Great pack. Are we video? Yeah, we have video. So you join us in the edit of this podcast, Mark's first full edit. Yes, have you you enjoyed it so far? Oh, I was smashing, man. It's all right, mate. You can see what I go through. I know the grind, is it? Yeah, Noel's up there just chilling out. Yeah, he's been helping. Um, As you might have guessed um, by the fact that I'm now missing a tattoo in that video, Uh, that was actually the day I got the first one on my arm, on my lower arm. This was filmed in what April, May, something like that. Yeah, but was there's been a ago. bit of a delay in getting it out. So you maybe want to shed some light on that. Yeah, so there were some technical issues. Uh, I mean, I, un- unheard of with us. <laughs> I me uploading it to Dropbox, but we won't go into that no. because it's uh, it's a bit complicated. Dropbox, ah, yeah. right? Te- technical stuff. Yeah. And my phone was going to blow up, and uh, yeah, we've. I don't know. We've it's sufficed. It's here now. Uh, aye, we've our first um, our first non soccer podcast, yes. but we are going to drop in Baller of the Week because when we filmed this, Baller of the Week didn't exist. It didn't. No, and the first and the first time I know. Imagine a world where Baller of the Week didn't exist. It's, it's, it's not worth living in. It is sad. So we thought we'll drop one in to mm. add to the team another one yeah. of the podcast. Now the first time we did Baller of the Week, you got the honour of adding one in. I did. Obviously, because Liam's not done it and no. he wouldn't know. I guess that falls on me to you, to put um to put my uh, to put my lad in. So so who have we got? We've got Schenk and Goal. We've, we've got, got Schenk and Goal. We've got Charlie Adam, Adam and Gilmore. Adam and Gilmore. And is that it? That's it so far, isn't it? Is, is it? it? I feel like there's. I, I, I'm, let's just check. Shall we? To be double sure. I think you're right. I think it's just the three. There we go. This is very professional. Yeah, it's just the three yeah. of them so far. So you've got plenty to choose from. Yeah, so... Defenders, right mid, yeah. left mid, centre attack mid. Straight. I mean, I think... I think it's, it's it's got to be... It's got to be my boy. It's got to be Mr. Kieran Tierney. Yeah. Nothing, nothing to do... Because Ball of the Week's not about who's played. Well, this yes, week... It it's not. It's absolutely not. You go back and watch <laughs> the podcast. <laughs> what well, shank. You put anyone in for any reason and we don't have a left back and I'm putting Tierney in. And okay. he's, let's be honest, he's never getting replaced. Andy Robertson. But it's a, but yeah, it's a it has to be a majority decision on that point. And <laughs> nah, fair enough. But um, yeah. yeah it's so a ball of the week. We thought we might as well just put one in and um, I thought I might as well put in my favourite player of the last 10 years. So, fair KT... Enough. I miss you. <laughs> I say this a lot. I said this in the first five vlog. Ali started singing about me, uh, about him. I didn't expect it. And it caught, oh, really? me, caught, me, caught me a bit off guard. What do you mean, oh, really? You don't fucking watch that. No, I'm not. I know. And this I know, dog, guys, right? I know. And I did the I usual. Know. Oh, you're going to you're going to Paisley tomorrow uh, to see Dundee again. <laughs> Why are you doing a wee vlog? No, I can't do it without you. I'm like not what? after not after the demolition on Wednesday. Well, maybe you should put the boy in that scored that free kick. If I could remember his name. No. But I can't, so Tierney's in. So <laughs> hope you enjoy the rest of this video, and uh, I will. And congratulations to yes. Liam. Yes, right. again, that's another thing. It's been so long uh, since this we actually filmed this. <laughs> Liam's now a dad. Congratulations! So, yeah, man. belated congratulations on the baby. Um, hopefully, you and Phil enjoy uh, that. We like, what we were going to do the still game thing, weren't we? <laughs> this podcast was filmed before you've been <laughs> <laughs> but aye congratulations yeah. guys and um, yeah hopefully see you soon and enjoy the rest of the video enjoy back in the game I'm all about drinking milk and wearing the dressing gowns you're right cool. you're right cool. well, well, when's the next one coming up many the husky it's many the husky Because we were just saying, the schedule's all gone, but that's fine.
Ah, yeah, so it's fine. Talk about getting cheated by your clients. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And Liam just slagging us all off. What about, like, yeah, so obviously, what about, like, the artist small talk as well? Yes, and bubble know. chat. I, I, I don't know. Where does it come from? I don't know, man. There's only so many Bugs, things. man. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so many things you could ask if somebody's wanting to holiday. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> impossible. Right? Yeah, it's, it's, either, it's either super chill vibes or it's just absolute nonsense in the game. Just play the tunes. Well, I can't hear it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, man. Yeah, just not, not, not along. There's been a couple of times like that where, you know, like, you'll just be having small, like, small talk with a client, hair dryers on, you don't hear what they're saying, you're just laughing and nodding along. <laughs> And it was, I was oh, working, me too, man, me too. Yeah, I was working in like my, uh, it was like a shop I used to work in, and then the boss, so I was further away, so you'd be able to hear a bit better when the hair dryer's not right here. Yeah. And he was just like, oh, so what are you doing today, mate? And the guy was like, oh, my mum's just died, I've got a funeral tonight, man. Oh, no. And then my boss at the time was like, oh, that's brilliant, mate, sounds classy to do it. Oh, no. And I, yeah, I was about 17 or something at the time, as well. I was just like, <laughs> dying inside my day. I'm like, that guy's mum just died, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's classy, mate. Brilliant. You'll be too close to you there. 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 you Okay, so he is like a very like quite a quiet guy, chilled out guy, but he'll just go in and just stone face, you know, just say absolutely yeah. not even entertain that idea. Even when, even when they try, like even if the bubble tries to chat, what do you think of those customers? Are? Like absolutely, is, I, that, I, is, I, that too, is that too far the other way? Is that yeah. 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 no? And, and like I'm, I'm for it, man. You know, because it's like you're just, you're just concentrating, doing the job, job and that. You know, like because <laughs> it's like see if you're ever like doing something, say for a photo shooter. Anything like that, man. It's just pure dead silence. Like, see, you're working in the shop day to day with the tunes and that one. If I'm ever cutting for like a photo shoot or when you take a picture or something, I'm putting on like the most chilled stuff possible, man. Like Joni Mitchell or something like that. You know? <laughs> Turning into a total hippie, no talking, <laughs> silence. But yeah, it's good, man. It's good, especially if it's been a mental day, man. You just want to chill for forty-five minutes. Yeah. You get yeah, definitely. Yeah, but yeah, no, it's not that. So it's quite good. To have yeah. Some yeah. customers like that as well. Yeah, so you just like chill out, not have to talk as much. Yeah. So it's, it's called mirroring the customer. So you're kind of like, if somebody comes in the chair now and somebody's like dead chatting and talk it over and they talk about this sort of thing, then yeah, you do that as well. But then it's like, you know, you keep it natural too. You're not like being a total weirdo. Then you're like, like, like total acting, yeah. Like, if you're acting like I'm hard as fuck. So if you're chatting, you're chatting, you're chatting, you're chatting you're not. Yeah, yeah. You, you talk about what they want to talk about and stuff like that. You know, if somebody doesn't want to talk, then don't talk. You know, don't force somebody to do it, otherwise it's just going to be uncomfortable, they're not going to come back. So. Yeah. So it's okay. Yeah. Okay, right. You mentioned weirdos. We were wondering yeah. what are some of the weirdest like stories or customers that you've had. So, so when when we uh, obviously when you asked me that, it was just like I, I can't possibly name names. No names. No. Like, no. Like, no. But it's just like you know. Call them Ross. Yeah. Ross will be fuming. It's just like, you just, just come on and like slide me off. So I'm the one come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come <laughs> find me, bro. Oh, oh, what a short call. Better than Britain. Don't anyway, sorry. sorry. <laughs> what a Britain. A bit shite, you know, when you go back and watch it properly. Yeah, yeah. could you do that now? Did you see Come Find With Me? Did they like remember the, yeah, like, the, the airport, airport and like you're like, yeah, the, one, the one after me? It was only like six yeah. episodes, but I yeah. thought that was better. Yeah, it was yeah. good, man, but then like, remember like, what Britain was like this whole thing back in the day? And then you go back and watch it, and yeah, it's like, it's such a This is an age so bad. And, that, and I'm like, there's pure, like, there's a laugh, and then there's just after, like, this is like, super. You're sitting there going, this was on the BBC as well. It's like, this was three blocks. Oh my god, is that thing, like, even like, like, how long ago was that? Oh, I called up for 20 years ago. Called up for 20 years ago. Nah, it wasn't that. It was like early 90s. Yeah, I was in high school when that came out. I think it was in 1990. Was that 20 years ago? Let's be fine. He was like, you look back and you go, where are David Williams and like, uh, Malcolm? Because they just hate everyone. It's not a good one. 2003, 18 years ago. That's mad. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 I remember the, the one when it was like the, it was like the country fair. The WI woman. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and the, the women would go round like, yeah, it was David Williams. I said, yeah, I'm like, he's not like the jam and that. And then it was just like, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. And at the time, yeah, you go, oh, and now you're like, fucking, oh my God. Man. How is this not good? Imagine <laughs> like, 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 oh, these cakes are lovely. Who made them? 
Oh yeah, my Mark Webster. Oh, <laughs> 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 really? Oh, my friend Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Daniel Winter. Yeah, he's Polish. <laughs> <laughs> and then, because that was the joke. It used to be like you would be like, you should take from like. Uh, the Indian woman, or like just the black woman, or whatever, and then it was like literally, like say, oh, my wife made these, she's, yeah. and then oh, lovely, these are great, and then the said the following name, she's like, oh, uh, like you know, everything though, like all the fat shame in the bed, like Tim Tom at the back, all that, yeah. Fat, yeah. I did get the girl like perfect English, right? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fish and chips. I'm sorry, what's that? Honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It does. That's very young. It's high in fiber and protein, so no. So, have you had anyone uh, like a little Brent character and watch the ones that you guys have No, so like, it's more just like a girl. Because you like, you know, you've made it come for your efforts. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. Anyway, anyway. But yeah, that was a nice sight. But no, like, people come in, man, and then obviously you get to know people really well, because you're like, sitting, like, say they come in every two weeks, like, you're sitting for like a long amount of time just talking yeah. shite, so people just tell you something. Mad stuff, and it's like, <laughs> like job, jobs that like sent over jobs or something like, or people get too comfortable. I've got people that come in and like ask me to like shave the back and stuff like that. You know? Mark, <laughs> yeah, but honestly, it was no joke. Like Pat shop, and I'm like, bro, can you, you shave my back? I'll give you, I'll give you twenty quid. And I'm like, yes. It's just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, 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 I'm just yeah, but you, like, you just get asked bizarre stuff or when uh, the other one was like weird jobs, right? So I've got a guy that comes in that's like a dog breeder, but then he gets some of the issue sometimes, like right? when, when he can't get the dogs to breed. And this is like a specialist that comes and pretty much just like starts wanking like boy dogs. It's like a fluffer for dogs. Dog. dogs. A fluffer for dogs. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it, right? Yeah, I had no idea this was a thing. I thought you just like, is this a joke? Mate, no, what, no joke, joke. Like, no joke, right? <laughs> what just name? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, like, like, I'll say like, tw 20 quid, I'll shave your back, but I'm like, I don't, no know, money, I don't, I don't know how much money it's going to take to wank it over. <laughs> Comment down below, how much money would you have to pay to do that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> or would you pay to do it? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, that's a legitimate joke. Uh, joke? Yeah. yeah, somebody wanking dogs off for money. I should like scrolling through the yeah. and see that. Yeah. I'm going to put that at the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> like, how, how, how do you get on with that? Like, you think like when you're a wee guy at the school and that, you're like, oh, I want to be like a scientist. Curious, yeah. yeah, I want to be a footballer, I want to want dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, watch, like, you watch that episode of South Park and he's like, yes. <laughs> this is for me. This is for me. It's so grim, man. You know? Red Rocket, Red Rocket. <laughs> Yeah, especially like you know how like words of guys want to do like what their dad does. Like oh I know that. Like, so I I know. I know for like, no, no, like, 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 my dad does here. You want to come here? And they're just like this long line of guys just wanking dogs. Like, oh, son, it's an honest living, isn't it? <laughs> you can open with your girls with a dog. Just like my dad will battle your dog. It's my dad will wank your dog. And your dog will lick it. What was that movie called again? Um, the Dog Wanker. What? No. Was it Van Wilder? Was that was that um, the one with the bulldog with massive balls? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? Somebody had to like wank the dog off, man. What the fuck? Yeah. And they switched it in the combat with the guys like wanking off the big horse at the American football team. I mean, we've got the title for this. What? We have to put this in there. It's, 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 it's a comedy film. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. All right. Yeah, it's brilliant. Right, I was going to say, man. Like, <laughs> that, that film needed to shut down. <laughs> Pro proper BC. I wonder what other videos you're going to share each other. <laughs> what that? Oh, I'm yeah. wondering what other videos you're going to share each other. Seth Lincoln was a BC alley, bro. The perfect balance. I just thought we were too polite before. This is what happens when we don't talk about food. I know, we, we can't understand. <laughs> so, have you had any other? Anything any that could top that? Or is that like. Mm. Is that, yeah, that, that's, pretty, that's pretty high up, man. I suppose. I, I was just trying to think, like, off the top of my head. There will be loads of stuff I'll think about afterwards. Yeah. It doesn't get much weirder than one. I don't think that's true. Yeah, that's what 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 Oh, yes. Yes. So now that we've got a fancy new computer, Simon's got a fancy new computer. Um, we're gonna like overlay some. Yeah, it's a computer. Yeah, it's <laughs> a computer. We've, we've, 
we've brought in some 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 questionable haircuts, shall okay. we say, and some probably a bit better. Any, any, any of my any of my questionable? Well, we'll see. Well, we'll yeah. see. I'm about to find out. Who did that's that? That's the boy that likes <laughs> dogs, man. <laughs> Face. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you don't. for the first time uh, on the Perfect Balance, we're going to get Simon on camera. So, oh, I'm going to show you Matt first. Wow. Which photo is that? Wow. Is that That's uh, a, I might think it is. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, man? <laughs> oh, early, early Justin Bieber, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe. 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 What, what, what year was this, Nick? That would have been. That's, that's, that's important. That's probably important. Yeah. 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 2012. That's a 2012. Oh, wait. Skin season 3, season 4. Prime time. I don't know. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. 2012 or 2011. Yeah, 2014. Yeah. Cool. Cool. That, that was cook. That was the best. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So that was it, man. It was like all the check shirts at the time. Everybody either wanted to be oh, cooked. Oh, yeah. I was a shop owner. You know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a Freddy guy, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, what about that? Cook, man. You cook, yeah. Or you want to be a big man, mate. Shag pan then, but like, what's the things up? Yeah. Never watched the show. Oh, shut up. Never oh, watched watch it. Never watched Skins. Nah. You're right. I one episode where the girl was like, cut herself, and I was like, ugh, spewing, like, I'm squeamish, I was like, can't watch the show. Nah. nah. One episode where the girl was like, cut her wrist, and I was like, ugh, sick. Yeah, I'm getting going, we can't watch it. I'm on one more on in Skins. Yeah. Nah, right. I'm saying that this is <coughs> era appropriate. Yes, I would agree. But I'm going to give it a. And of course, it's a it's a it's a band photo shoot. Yeah, not, not you, mate. You're looking tremendous. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, you're really doing what the guy asked you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The camera loves me. Yeah. Used to. Look somber. Right, so what, what number two. Number two. Boom. Who's next? We've got. Oh. There we go. <coughs> oh Jesus. Right. This is a more recent one. Oh yeah, I see. I see. <laughs> Good for the one more. Oof. <laughs> This is when you were in, 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 in China and it was in, it's impossible to get a good barber in China. Yeah, yeah. 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 he came back and looked at What was it like when it wasn't all windswept in Manchester? Like this? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go get Rob in trouble for that one. I'm not saying Rob. I'd say Rob for no, like half a year. It looks better when Rob does it. Oh, yeah. yeah. But China, oh. China fucked you up, does it? Try and watch me, yeah. Try and watch me. We'll go mid all the rules up with that five out of ten. Very kindly, yeah. thank you. It's all that Chinese beer. <laughs> all that Chinese beer. Oh, look at that. Ah, that's it, mate. <coughs> so, we've got Ali Nakai next. Oh. Big Mac. Nice. Which one is that? Oh, yeah, that's. Yeah. yeah. So, this is um, right about the time Ali first came up to them near about five years ago. Yeah, oh, right, so. <laughs> we have to start. That ice gem! <laughs> he's got the hardest sale to do. It's so fucking hard, but. Well, you, you're cutting yourself if you Yeah, I'm cutting yourself, man, yeah, yeah. But, like, you're always sweating when you're doing it. <laughs> so thick. <clears throat> yeah, so thick, it sticks out and stuff like that, but. I mean, technically, it's done right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Ooh. Wait, but I think I might have done that, so you know, it's got me high. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, I can't really see the back of it, which is obviously the tricky bit. Like straight up, it looks good. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with seven out of ten. Ooh, but nice. it's slightly higher on one side than the other, and I can't see the rest of the trim. But he's got hard hair to do, so I'm gonna give some leanings in, just in case of that. Phone Ali and find out after this podcast if he did it. And I'll yeah. that in, like, yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> so yeah, add two points. Well, I think we're gonna finish on two oh. that I think you definitely did. Oof. So first one's mine. Sexy. I was very happy with it that day. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Pose on that and one point. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. 12. <laughs> oh, mate, you can even see the back in the mirror. Yeah, yeah. Back, I don't mean that. You don't care about that. Yeah. 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 I've been looking through for days. I've been looking through for days. I've been showing the back, but did I definitely do this one? Yeah, you definitely done that one, yeah. Right. 12 out of 10. I know, I can't, you know. Can't be can't be them all. You know what? I'm rate, I'm gonna rate it bad now because I'm all chasing perfection. Oh, okay, I'll do that. And that mojo. Seven out of ten. That's also right for me. <laughs> and we've got the model ten out of ten. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And speaking of models, it's just a, a nice standard trim. Speaking of models, we've got a proper lovers model to finish oh, off. Oh, that's 
that's delightful. Look at that. Oh, of course it is. I know it's going to be him. Oh, yeah, I know it's going to be him. It's been his profile picture for like four years. He's been in love with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, our good pal uh, Adam Jameson Kelly, friend of the podcast. The, the big man himself. Yeah. yeah. Adam has got some The man who introduced me to you, of course. Sorry? The man who introduced exactly, me to you. Exactly, man. What makes out the big man? Bring it, bring the world to you, yeah. yeah. But, uh. <laughs> 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 Love. Yeah. <laughs> 
But yeah, but that's it though, like you said, it's, it'll be trades or free agents. It's not like, um, say, you would want Denver's best player. They can't say, we'll give you $10 million and we take that player. No, you can't buy them. It's got to be for capital. And then it's like, you can negotiate contracts where you can like trade for somebody, but then it's like, if you miss like this pick, we'll pay like a portion of their salary for a year or something. But it's pretty, it's pretty rare. Most of the time it's just like straight players for picks. Yeah. But then, see so you trying to like fix your team like that, fix your team quick, like buying players on like a free agent market or trading, it's kind of like the risky way to go, you know, you've got to build a good foundation for the draft. Yeah, so. But you could expect, expect to get a player and then like, oh, we bought eighth pick and we think we'll get him, so like, we pick, oh, they took the player we want. Yeah, yeah. Right but then you could swap your picks and stuff, so like say you're sitting eight and then... Say, oh, you just want a pick and you've got the player I want, I'll give you my eighth pick as well as your seventh for your player. All right, so exactly. no pick for me, but I've got the player I want. It's such, yeah, an, so it's such an interesting system. system because it's so alien to like... Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. so what we were used to. And why is it funny? Why is it funny? Why is it funny is that the Americans, with the who are probably the most capitalist country in the world, have the most communist system when it comes to sports. <laughs> it's like nobody can be richer than anyone else. Everyone must have exactly the same amount of money. Yeah. 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 But they take it so seriously though, and I like Matt, it just makes it makes so much sense to me. I don't know if I'm totally anathematized by it just because I've watched it for so yeah. long. But it's not like it's just you though, like you get 90,000 people at Wembley to watch the yeah, games, so like exactly. yeah. this company. Exactly, exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, it's got I've got like most of Paul's not football team like watching the game. Yeah, yeah. Well, there actually is like a British American league in that as well, man. So, you know, it's popular. Like, I think it's kind of one of those games, it's complicated. Mm. But then. Once you learn it, it's well, once, you, once you learn it, it's brilliant. And I know I'm sounding biased here, but anybody I know, that, and obviously you've got other friends that are into heavily as well, that once they give it the time and watch it and understand it, it's brilliant. Every play matters. Everybody's. I can watch it now. Like, I think before, it's more exciting like, like, than soccer. Before I feel like I have no idea. What's every play means something. I'm literally yeah. killing the time and stuff. Yeah. Do you want to literally help me understand it? Play Madden, like yeah. on PlayStation. Yeah, exactly. Because then you have like we play the well, we beat me as well. Yeah. Never touched that. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah. Throw! <laughs> <laughs> He'll marry every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like exactly like that. It's interesting. Yeah. Because you learn. Yeah. Down and played with us before. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Like, we played like the flag yeah. or something. Yeah. So they, like Liam's in the huddle going, right, like flank to the left or do this, do that. And I'm like, what? And <laughs> Liam's <laughs> like, <laughs> Liam's like, just go on. Yeah. <laughs> just go on every time. Get me the fuck. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah. Wait, nobody's like covering me yeah. at all. Because they're like, I can't catch yeah. the ball. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Run over there and we'll see how far I can throw it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, 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 that. It's like, it's really interesting once you dissect it and stuff. But I don't know. I feel like it's a thing that needs to be implemented over here. But it's that thing, it's like all the big teams just buy up all the other players, sit them on the bench. It's too far out. home now, eh? Like, yeah, to, to do that. And then you have this whole thing with like the European Super League nearly happened this year, yeah. which would have been even more money yeah. for these like big clubs to get even further away from something else. So did, did they like split the eight? So, say, say for example, Dundee go and play Celtic next year. Mm. Did they split the, the eight fee? No. So that's like what happens. The only, in the the only, the only, the only time that happens oh, is yeah. in the Scottish Cup. Yeah. So, say Dundee played Celtic in a Scottish Cup match for Celtic Park. <clears throat> Yeah. They would get thirty thousand seats worth of tickets, uh, not to, to the game, but they'd get the money. And is that happen? So um, yeah, okay. so like um, that's the thing. When when we clubs, um, the further they go, um, in the Scottish Cup, it's actually it would actually probably be more beneficial for yeah, them. Yeah, because they might take two thousand. It, it, it would be more beneficial for them yeah, to like money. get a big team like an Aberdeen or yeah, a like Dundee or Celtic or Rangers away from home. Yeah. get a big crowd in a big stadium and get knocked out. Because mm. they've, they've, they've got their money, like uh, rather than having to play. There's always stories about like when probably, probably probably get more money than that, like the wedding stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, so, yeah this is the problem. Would you not think like when it's solely about profit, it ruins it? Yeah. You know? I could talk for a long time about how money's ruined football, man. Yeah, that's a whole show. Exactly, man. But then it's like I, I remember, like well, I'm a total football novice, but then it was like looking at like the cost, of, like the start of living that won the the Premier League, yeah. and it was like the year when Leicester won. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it was just like a total anomaly. Oh, buttons. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was nothing compared to like what all the because yeah. what Jimmy's yeah. already won millions of cities. Yeah, like, yeah. Why would they not? Well, and like, they have loads of like free transfers and yeah. all that as well, like players that other teams didn't want, and then they all like yeah, 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 just jail cards. So that's the like the one saving grace. That's what still can happen. Like, it's so real. But then when it happened, that was like. Even I found it exciting. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, not, not like that. Everyone was like, everyone was a Leicester fan. Yeah, exactly. Everyone was back in the Leicester. What watch match of the day, you know? Because yeah. yeah. to but see other people. It's a really long for more success. Yeah, yeah, because they're up there in the league. They nearly got Champions League, they just missed out. Yeah, so it's like, it's obviously propelled them like forward. But the year they won the league, the year before that, they were like, one of the things. They just stayed up. Yeah, just stayed up. Yeah, 
Yeah. But about how money's yeah. in football, for example, yeah. Champions League titles on Saturday, yeah. Man City v Chelsea, nobody in Europe has spent more money on players this season than Man City and Chelsea. Yeah. And then they've got to the final. Yeah. And, and, and that, that's the problem, because it's like, you can do that in any sport, you can fucking buy the best players. Yeah. Yeah. But then if you're only allowed to spend X amount every single year on your team, you have to think, right, what do we need this year? What do we need that year? Yeah, do we, like, yeah. Exactly. And then, you know, it's down to coaching, it's down to forum, stuff like that, strategy. You know, it's not just it's not just paying to win money. You know? Exactly. The thing is, as well, you're giving the youth players a chance oh. in that as well. You yeah. know, with that, yeah, because you, you need to all the trains yeah. in that as well. Yeah. Well, yeah. picks, isn't it? Because that's what the, the, yeah. the youngsters come yeah. through. Yeah, so there's like quite a lot as well. So how many people are on a normal football team? I love you. I love it, and you usually get. No, no, but I mean, like. Oh, the squad. Oh. Um, you're usually only about twenty-five players oh, in the squad. Twenty-five, right? Yeah. So, so for like an NFL team has to be fifty-three. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's because it's rolling subs. And, and then, so in, in NFL, right? You've got like a not start the one, but so you'd, you'd have a whole team on the field for when you're attacking. Offense, yeah, whole defense, team offense, 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 and then you have a whole defense, 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 defense team on, and then yeah. there's a special teams yeah. as well. Yeah, so, so the when you're kicking yeah, well, yeah, there's multiple like, different types of special teams. So it's like a couple of different phases of it. The three parts of the game. So but then it's normally like all the backups and stuff and the young guys that'll get shot on special teams, you know, it's like yeah, you yeah, can, yeah. there's only fifty three spots, you know, and it maybe came from like hundreds and hundreds of colleges, mm-hmm. so there's like thousands and thousands yeah, of yeah. spots. There's only thirty three teams, you know, you want to make it so you uh, make it as yeah. a backup on special teams like, yeah. That's good though, I, I do like that. So yeah, yeah. Give, it it does I, give people it a so much sense, man, like obviously like with like, sliding everything's for so much, yeah, right. Right. but then and, 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 again, then we'll have to switch. It's like, no, I do run the sports league. So, what do you think of like the college system then? The college system, yeah. I think, bro. Now, the debate I always hear about it is the fact that they don't get paid. Yeah, they shouldn't get paid. So, what yeah, is that where you stand with that debate? Well, I, free, free education. I get paid, I get, I get hear all of my arguments saying that they should get paid on top of that because of the like the risk they're taking to their bodies. Well, the, well the, the, yeah, but the problem is, is, is it's like the college in America, like, you're paying for it. But I, I know in Scotland it's free, you yeah. pay in England, but I don't think, I need to look at the numbers, but the, what you pay in England is like nothing compared to what you pay for college over there. So you get your scholarship and stuff like that, but then it's not meant to be about the, the money, because you see it happen so many times, players then come into the league, play great for four or five years, they get their big contract, and then you know, they're just like... Coasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made their money. It's that thing, man, you know, it's like if you, if you want to play, like, because you kind of need to see how passionate somebody is about it as well. You know, it's like you can have like, the most talented players, but that's like the people that are willing to go the distance. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. the graft ones, yeah. Exactly. I'm getting all beat. It's just to see like you're always good at any sport. Like, the best team doesn't always win, but sometimes the team that wants it more than the other team, you're exactly. not as good. I mean, every, everybody wants an underdog. It's not a way, it's a hundred minutes. I've done this. Exactly. And he became one of the greatest ones. The most dogs wins all the time as well. You know, it's like people will go, Undrafted, you know, aren't as good as you think. Yeah, yeah, like there's been so many first round, like the very first pick that have like bust and then, or just been like middle of the road, and then there's like these guys who are in draft five like, or six teams in ten years. Like Brady, yeah. And well, there, where was where was Brady when you were really yeah, yeah, like, like good good statistics? So what, do you, what do you think about him? That like is he is he the goal? So I, I'm, I'm a hater. Yeah. Because I've seen you. Um, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a hater. I've got my I've got my my own opinions on it, but I, I feel. It's kind of like the whole like LeBron, Michael Jordan thing. He's the most decorated football player of all time. He's won the most Super Bowls, stuff like that. And at the end of the day, it's about winning, isn't it? But then it's like, I've kind of got my opinion, opinion on who's the best in my eyes. Yeah. But then it's like, you know, you can't argue with the, with the facts, you know? There were quite controversial uh, pair of Brady and his coach. So right. they're Belichick. 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 Mm-hmm. So he was like basically the Sir Alex Ferguson of American football. That's why I have heard him described. Right. right. And he was like they, 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 the Patriots like won so much when they two were. Mm-hmm. Is Belichick still there? Yes. Yeah. So like, so, like they, they were they were like it was like Ferguson and Rooney like or Keane like they just won yeah. everything when they right. together. Yeah. But then, but then but they were a bit they were a bit controversial. Like that was it Deflate Gate or something. The the cheated so many times, yeah. man. You know, like, yeah. like, there was like you know what I mean? This is all about me. Trying to hold it. Like, like, so uh, like, uh, the point <laughs> together, those two have won six Super Bowls, right? But then I think there's been time when they were like deflating the football in the semi-finals, but then it was like just for them. So it's like they're easier, easier to catch. Easier to catch. Yeah. I can't remember what they're supposed to be inflated to off the top of my yeah. head, but when they're soft, you know, they're like it's a lot easier to catch. And then they were doing it for their one. It was another year, I can't remember who it was, but they were filming like the other teams' practice. Like, yeah, the other stuff. Like, yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that, it's that thing, you know, when it's like you get into the game, and then there was a. Uh, they were playing the Seahawks in. Seattle. Uh, yeah, Seattle. So it's like. So I'm speaking like. 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 I'm speaking like
Adam, we watched that one, 2000... Was that Super Bowl we watched yeah, that? Yeah, uh, yeah, 14 I think, and then it was like they won the game on the last play, and it was like a wee trick play, and they knew exactly what was coming, and yeah. it's that thing when you're like, oh, it's a great coaching, and you know what it is, or they just been sitting filming the entire practice. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's it's yeah. best square then, yeah. it's best square. Yeah. Yeah, remember that one from the video? Six six minutes we're going to do the thing! <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing the thing! But yeah, you don't want to describe it, it's still good, no? Uh, maybe more, more uh, full, full on everybody else, yeah, but not yeah. a minute feeling this is I'm sure everybody cheats. All fairs and love and so forth. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> well, you got to find like every little advantage you have in this point. Six brain TV. Exactly, man. Well, well Brady's got seven now. He's, he's, got, he's, got, he's, got, he's got more than any other team. Yeah, himself. I mean, yeah ridiculous, man. Because obviously Patriots got the six to join the best, and he's yeah. got seven more than yeah. anyone. Man knows his stats, eh? Yeah. Big Joe, I uh, saw him for like. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Glory Hunter, just the first time I ever saw on TV, I was like, oh, like, they're good. So, like, you're the only Patriots fan that isn't a Glory Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Man. I'm sure. Like, <laughs> so, have you, ever, have you ever been over and like, then for a game? So, I've been over to. So, I've been down to London for a couple of games. Oh, well, yeah. And then I did go over to Denver for my birthday. My birthday is in July. So, it was. Oh, my season. I get my football, sorry. Also, yeah, so training camp was on, so me and Faye went to the training camp, got some stuff signed. That's cool. That was class. So we went twice, so there was one at like their training facility and then one at the stadium. And then I think the stadium holds about 70,000, something like that, but there was about 30,000 people at the training. So, like, you know, it's pretty mad. I thought I was just going to get like, right from the front, put a pilt on and stuff like that. You know, it's like, oh, I came all the way from Scotland, sign the top, you know what I mean? But you can't get anywhere near them, man. So it was like the star players and that come over and that, you don't want to be like bodging and little kids and that. It'll get a bit of a crack move. I've traveled ages to get here. <laughs> so who's who's Denver's rivals then? Who do you hate? The the Raiders. In the Oakland, yeah. So well, no, they're now waiting to be Las Vegas. Oh, well, they are Vegas yeah, now. Right. Move. So, so they were uh, Los Angeles and then it was Oakland. No, so, uh, yeah, I think it was early then. Yeah, yeah, Atlanta, yeah, yeah. 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 No, they're in Vegas now. They're in Vegas now, yeah. yeah. So there's two conferences. This is where it gets fun. East and West, isn't it? Uh, no, so there's AFC and NFC, so the oh, yeah. East East and West, and the West. But then, in, is it? Yeah, you get AFC North as well, so oh. you get like, but then there's like, of that. but for each AFC and NFC, there's like, uh, North, East, South, West. Yeah. And then there's four teams in each division, so you need to play everybody in your division, home and away, and then just like a spattering of other teams to then dictate like, who the top ones are. Yeah, that happens in NLS as well. So like, like they like East and West, yeah, so like you play true. everyone in the West, home and away if you're in the West, and you play, not everyone in the East, but you play some teams as well. It's like a league solid, yeah. 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 But yeah, it's just that. So it's pretty much the people in your division are your rivals, but then you have the ones that you hate more than others. Is it the same divisions every year? Same four teams every year? Yes. Yeah, yeah like, I think like, like over the years there's been reshuffles you know, where teams have disbanded or changed names. Or, you know, like the or scenes. move cities. <laughs> yeah, or move cities, yeah. But then it's like that thing, if they move cities, and then like, they pretty much just... Still playing the same division. Yeah. That's one thing that, like, if we're on a bit like, do you not think it would be great if, say, um, football moved to like an American system like Salary Cups and that? Do you not think it's mental that, like, teams do that, like, so, quite often when you look at it, like, move yeah. cities and, like, yeah. all that? Christian and Arsenal play for the United. It's like, it's more of a you can't make it. You have, like, uh, was it the Rams? Like, they, they played in LA for a while and then they moved. So they were in St. Louis. St. Louis. Well, they're Which in is like ages away. That's like halfway yeah. across the country right. to Missouri. Yeah, and then yeah. they moved all the way back. You go like, how can you like attach uh, uh, yourself to that team if they're just like, what the job is happening? Well, I think the teams that, that move out are the ones that maybe haven't properly found their footing. Mm. You know, so it's like, there's teams that are like, would never move. You know, Denver, Green Bay, the Patriots, teams like that. That's just like a few. Jackson at Green Bay fun. Yeah, yeah. Team parks. yeah, but, but they're like a total like the beloved like yeah. top teams, Steelers, things like that. You know, if they move, we get up for it. But then there's like these other teams, you know, that's like the really newer franchise. So many Bengals, I don't really bother if they just <laughs> stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, man. Yeah. I know a couple of people that would get their knickers in a twist, man. Like think. Washington, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> oh well, that's it. That, they're the controversy. No, they've changed their name. No one's like, just stop, just stop with them. Yeah. 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 Do you want to tell I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just look at it. Yeah. yeah. Like, so this is great. So <laughs> they were called the Redskins, and it was like an Indian logo or Native American logo. Yeah. But then obviously it was just like. A bit racist. Over, over the years, yeah, yeah. got the little yeah. Britain yeah. treatment. You're like, ooh, is this actually a racist? No, it's just, no, it's just Washington. <laughs> and yeah, well, then they, they wanted to change their name. And then I think a fan bought, it, like, it, bought like. <coughs> the, no, the, like, there was one fan that bought like the rights to like loads of like good names that would come off the back of it. <laughs> it was like holding them hostage. So Washington yeah. piggybacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they're just called the Washington football team. 
It's not like the one that's just like that. And that's all the logo is as well. Washington football. Play it safe. Yeah. But then it's like the sole way to build. I'm like, oh, what are we called? Then they release it and you're like, cool. <laughs> this is the least American thing ever. This guy has the rights to every animal ever, so it's like you can't be Washington otters, you can't even pay me. Washington otters? Yeah. Washington yeah. otters? Yeah. Check that, Google that now. I'm going to see them. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but um, you go on about uh, Dundee as well, like, you, you, I went on a train since where you guys was the hurricanes that were called. Yeah. What, did you come down? I came down, yeah. You were literally saying die, which is like, go on. But me and Adam were down. No, 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 that was just to be pissed about, though. Oh, I thought that, no, but they were like, hurricane, no, I, I know, but oh, it's yeah, like yeah, hurricane, yeah. like, yeah, why should hurricane? Yeah, 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 so that, that was just like some of the guys from football, just, you know, we, we throw about, like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll contact that. Did they stop, they stop going and all that? The hurricane, so, no, sad, sadly not, so oh. the league, um, put like the requirement of how many players each squad needed, and keep in mind, this is like, Sunday league level stuff, you know what I mean? It's like, like clearly not an athlete, you know? But then it's like, you go down, there's more, like, every team to have like, 45, 50 guys there on that like, game day. Wow. And you're just like, you can't really sustain it because one, it's a niche sport, a small city like this isn't really going to have that many guys that yeah. can come down and, and play every single week. So, you know, like, if you, if you get, like, just over 30, then, then you're good. You know, you've got your start. Offense, defense, and everyone. Oh, the, the, the quarterbacks also kick our so. Yeah, well, mate, like, loads of stuff like that happens. You know, it's like, it's a lower level. So it's like, they, you kind of need to lower the expectations. So it's kind of like, there's all, like, the drama going on just now about how the league might kind of be fucking all the teams and that, because now there's only maybe like five teams in Scotland that I don't know off the top of my head, but, but then like loads of us got transferred to Aberdeen and Dunfermline, so we just kind of got split to give like the other teams bigger numbers, mm -hmm. but then it's like, you have like a kind of Scottish division, yeah. whereas now, you know, it's like when it's like struggling for teams, so we need to like travel down to Newcastle for a game, Northumberland, Carlisle, but it's a long day, it's all a game, yeah. Yeah. You know, for, for some people, again, you're not getting paid, you're, uh, you're paying to play, yeah, yeah, but then you're having to like track, and it's great fun, so you don't like, you put up with it, but track and like, you eight hours on the road on a bus, man, with a bunch of smelly guys, and <laughs> especially <laughs> going down to like Newcastle, especially if you get beat, possibly home's like, uh, I've got a chance yeah. to know, <laughs> yeah, it's like, see Newcastle as well, man. I'd be like the furthest from going, we get pumped every single time you go, man, you know what I mean, they've just got like, that's like a mess of athletes, man. Right? It's really ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous, man. It's a big massive job, he's like, oh, straight out of the Navy, or something. Oh, yeah. It gets mad, but then it'd be that thing, though, that's like, if they have to travel up to you, yeah. then I think I, I think we beat them one time when they came up here, because it's like, you're checking all that away, yeah, all their players don't go, you're knackered, you know. Yeah, you're not getting pure A game treatment, man. Yeah. I'm just getting on a few Fisher tours. Yeah. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Other coaching companies are available. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, man, go, all that way to get smashed. You know? no, no. What a way to spend Sunday. It could have been in church. It could have been in church, yeah. You could be watching Sunday football. Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. Praying to God for a win. <laughs> so, how long have you been playing for a while? Like, yeah. So, I've not, uh, wait, I've not been playing since the lockdown, mate, but then, kind of in two minds about going back, mate, you know? Yeah. Busy with the shops, I've got my first kid on the way, stuff like that, man, so. Yeah. Yeah, you need to work on my dad you know. I don't want to oh, lose, yeah. I don't want to lose any weight by points in sport, man. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of sports, he's into his F1 as well. Yeah, he's he's certainly is. Are you going into F1? No, I'm telling you. This is just, it's it's just football. Teaching, right? Teaching, any good sport, teaching right? Mark about, <laughs> teaching Mark about yeah. sports today. Yes. Yeah, you know, he's happy at the weekend, big Lando. Man like Lando, eh? Yeah. yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, that's my boy. You got third place in Monaco. Yeah, that's that. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've even got my Jensen button tattoo. Oh, so you do, yeah. yeah that's my boy. You know who Jensen Mann is? Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah. Hey, he's on the head and shoulders, I guess. <laughs> Bronchy B, fucking the. All the head brothers are available. <laughs> Bye, you don't need an F1 either. No. no. So I know Lando's your boy, so he's like one of the younger British drivers, like, it's like. Ah. Eventually, when Hamilton retires, he might start winning some races. Ah. Although there's nothing one at the weekend, but he's yes. talking to people, isn't he? He is indeed, man. I, don't, I can't stand him. You can't stand what's just happened. Yeah, I know, because I remember I was talking to about um, Adam's, Adam's big F1 fan as well. And yeah. he's at um, Per... Uh, yeah, yeah Perez. Perez. And, and he likes for Stappen as well, and they're both at the same team. <sighs> it's just like... Red, Red Bull told them. All the Force India has like, gone now. Yeah, so. yeah, well, like, they've changed into Aston Martin a bit, but... Yeah. It's just that thing, man. It's always like the top guys in every sport. You take them. <laughs> so, like, you, they're just... Um, they're just on the sticks. <laughs> like, you're just like... Can't be decent and also be good. There you go, Ray Lewis Hamilton's new haircut. 
with like the big dreads coming in. Well, I, I thought it was his hair being a great Oh, was he had a wee. Well, coming out, right enough, he used to be a wee black guy. Yeah, he, he went from bald to having like loads of beer at all. I've never actually thought about that, eh? Yeah, man. Yeah. Maybe a hundred percent. He's got like a caffeine yeah. shampoo. He's got like a big yeah. like. Yeah, that's, <laughs> not, that's not caffeine yeah. shampoo. Yeah. That's what that's what he's got. I don't know if that. Yeah, you're right enough, he's always been bald. Yeah. So, well, I thought she just yeah, realised. <laughs> you know, remember you started growing it and then you got like braided and, yeah. and then like you know when you got the braids and they were all a bit like good and there were like four of them all in. <laughs> and then he comes back like the next season man, here like a way down here. Like, oh, like F1 oh, launches. Yeah. 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 What about like, F1 yeah. <laughs> That's what you spent that championship on. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well how about that in F1 then? Because how how mm-hmm. much different is the budget for them? Because obviously you've got like the the top teams and then like at the bottom of the grid the gap's like massive. Yeah, it, it, and it's kind of it's ruining the sport just now as well. You know, it used to be a lot a lot more even, you know, that like different teams would win or you know, you'd get the anomaly like Braun GP, yeah. like what we said, you know, they'd be like the start up, everybody expect them to be rubbish now. Uh, so what happened when Button uh, his boy won the championship? Was it hot you were racing for a team called it was B R Bristol American Racing? Was it Honda? Yeah, yeah. And they like withdrew from the sport. Right. And, and then, then Ross Braun who was like one of the top team leaders, that, yeah. he like left and made his own team. And then you're thinking, oh yeah, those drivers will go there, but they'll be crap. Yeah, normally teams like that, they're just like totally New, new teams like always finish last. And then just like, 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 like no expectation, goes in, smashes it. Wow. He won like, was it seven of the first eight races or something like that? Some, something like yeah, that. Yeah, just like dominating the first half of the season. Everyone is able to like catch up sort of with the technology half of the season, but he's too far ahead. Yeah, he so as long as he finished like, Decent. Yeah, yeah. He, would, he just cruised. Yeah, it was that last race of the season, though, man, when it was like fighting for yeah. the championship and that. I think he like qualified, I can't remember exactly, it was something awful. It was like 14th or yeah. something. It's finished and like it, fifth. Yeah, and he finished fourth. Yeah. Man, goosebumps. Sneaked it, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> goosebumps, man, man like Jensen. <laughs> coming through. But no, I, I just always root for the next guys, man. I love an underdog as well, you know, when something's like worked their way up and earned it. See, when it's just like guys like straight in at the top team, yeah. the most my. You know, it's just a, it's just a bit shite. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 but like, you want his Toro Rosso race though. Exactly, and this is the thing as well, where it's like, the argument is the best drivers end up with the best teams. That's true. And it's true, but then it's like, you do want to see it more, more level, you know, like the war categories, like F2, F3, where they've all got the same car, and then it's like the green rises. So is that how it works, like, at that level then? Yeah, so they, so they have their feeder series as well. Mm. You know, like, so it's like if you win F3, you can't compete in it again, you've got to move up. Okay. And then if you win F2, you've got to move up and stuff like that, you know? So there's like loads of good drivers that have won underneath championships, man, but then can't get a seat mm. just now because of the money and the sport and that, you know? So like, if you've been watching just now, there's a couple of crap drivers in like Mazepin and stuff, like pretty much just in there racing up that mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But it's that thing, man, money ruining the sport. Oh. See, when I was growing up, I, well, my cousin got me into it. Um, so I liked Cool because he was Scottish, but I was kind of like you, like when you like picked the Bronx on the games, like you couldn't help but look at Schumacher and go, yeah. oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah, he's, he's I like him, but I want to win. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> the red's cool. Exactly, man, mate. Well, it's like, what is it? Schumacher and the Ferrari. Oh. The red. They've gone so far down recently, haven't they? Ah, yeah, well, what, they got to be P2 the other day. And then, it wasn't so long ago that they were like leading championships with Vettel and stuff like that, you know, and it just kind of, I don't think they've, they've not won one since Raikkonen. No, yeah, so Raikkonen was the last time. So 14 years ago. Yeah, but they've had so many like close calls where they've just been edged out by Raikkonen. Yeah, but Hamilton won his first one on the last lap against Massa. So that was probably... Oh, yeah. uh, Absolute joke, yeah. <laughs> Mate, that must have been horrific. Especially because they went in Brazil. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, so what happened was, uh, this was Hamilton's first season when he was like a kid. And then... Um, uh, Massa, the... Was it? it was 2000. Oh, no, it was the second season, yeah. sorry, you're right. And uh, literally... Maso Massa, this Brazilian guy, in his, home, his hometown as well? Uh, I don't know if it's his hometown. So it's his home country in Brazil. He finishes the race, he's won. And it's literally the camera goes to his dad in the Ferrari garage and he's going, Ferrari from me, Peter! Yeah. So that moment he's won the race. And Hamilton's like too far back to like yeah, get enough points. Yeah, I think he was in, he was like in sixth place or something like that. I mean, I think on the second last call up, he passed the guy that he needed to pass. But, so the guy, the guy ahead of him, he wasn't going to, he wasn't going to win it. Yeah. Broke down on the last corner of the last lap of the last race of the season of the championship, and then his car broke down. Hamilton overtook him, won the championship. Oh my god! Oh so then Hamilton crosses the line, goes back to the garage. Oh Everyone's like hugging his dad. Yeah. His dad's the only one that can see the monitor, and he's like, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, cool guy, <laughs> like, because like he won, massive yeah. won, he done what he needed to do. Uh, well, well, like, 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 and then just. 
out of out of bad luck, man. Well, shit, man. Mate, yeah, that was brutal, man. Bro. <laughs> and he never, he never got close to a title again after that last day. Nah. That was it. Yeah, that was the moment. Got, got paired up with Alonso afterwards. Yeah. And just, that, was he, that was the thing. He was the second driver at Ferrari as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was like. Who was Phoenix? Was he still? Was that still regular? Regular yeah, yeah, was regular. Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Regular one. Two thousand seven. Yeah. And then it was like the Alonso went and he's never got a look at. Yeah. Mm. But Alonso was the second, the second driver. Like that. that, that, that when was the last time that happened? So the second driver wins a. Yeah. A, 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 a bloody championship. Nah, it's it's mental. Yeah. And probably then the last corner of the yeah, last race. Well, I probably would have been better the first couple of years when he moved up from Toro Rosso. Well, whatever. Yeah, yeah, probably. But yeah. yeah. Get the young guy in. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah everyone's good, man. That's what yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm a total, like, I'm a total lapse fan. I kind of dip in now and again. But it's usually a dip in. It's just a to be fair. A dip in is like Hamlet's still in there. To be fair, that would be a minute to leave, really. That would be one thing. That would be quite an interesting to watch F1. Yeah, do you feel that? Can you call it like Salston or not? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, man, yeah. Well, I mean, I've been down a handful of times as well, man, but I think me and Faye, five, four or five times, I think it would be, but a brilliant weekend. Yeah. You go down and it's kind of like a festival, yeah, yeah. comedian, fans, and stuff like that. Like, see, even if you're not a fan, it's just yeah, a good experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just go for it yourself. Know? Good deal. Yeah, and then yeah. pretty much like. Yeah. Britain all the time as well, you know what I mean? So if you want to go down, you feel like a big Tory mate. Don't force him all that. <laughs> <laughs> do you like other combo that you go to, or like, do you just. What was that? Do you have a party? Yeah, so like, I like, uh, I think I'm pronouncing it right, Lowfield. Okay. It's just off one of the straights, I think it's off the first straight, well, obviously not the, the pit straight, but then the first big one in the track. So you can see where you big heavy braking zone and slow big bend out, you know, so you just get a lot of, well, get a lot of visual time with cars, don't you, man? Like, so it's a lot more tear than I thought to be. It's like the yeah. corner flag for the Lincoln's tear. It's the corner <laughs> flag. <laughs> yeah. That's where it's where the action, it's where the action is. Yeah. <laughs> Overtakes. Yeah. 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 But it's that thing, everybody always goes to like the fast bits and that, and you're like, boom, you don't see a thing. Yeah. So what was that card? Grail, 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 grail. You might actually see somebody pass them before you're sitting. Yeah, well, mate, you know, that, like, that happens though. If it's going too fast, you see people go by and it was, it was like Rosberg Hamilton at the time. So I, I prefer Rosberg. Right. Hamilton's the best. But so they were teammates, right? Um, right? And they were like, their whole lives have been competing. Well, I've, heard that, I've heard of a lot of their mates. Yeah, so it's just that not watched it. So how many guys were best mates and how they hate each other? And how long they went on, like, I think he's won, like, was it six out of the last seven titles or something that he's won? Yeah. But Ross, and for the first few of that run, I think Hamilton maybe won three and they were teammates uh, the whole time. Right. And then Rosberg won one. I was like, peace out, I'm retiring, I'll beat you. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you're never going to beat me now that I'm jumping. <laughs> do, do, you do you not think that's cool as fuck? Yeah, man? what, like, mic drop, like, oh, sorry, I'm going to just I'm pretty sure he was younger than he was at the time when he retired as well. Oh, let's see, look, I'll start off Yeah, he's like, yeah, just thought we'll spend more time. In fact, maybe that will be the last time the second driver won the title then. Yeah. Yes. There you go, answer that question. Yeah, well, very, very recently. Yeah, actually, I've never told that. I don't know. Why are you playing with the F1? Yeah, I feel very educated on yeah. it. So, fair. normally, what we do it, like, to run up with pots okay. is we do like an ultimate football uh, okay. for you. Like, it would take us too long. Well, or maybe it would, I don't know. How, how many like American football players who make, like, say, your top five? And we can maybe do your dream F1 pairing as well. Oof. Top five NFL players. My top five of all time. Yeah. For, it, for, for since you've been watching. Has it got to be in any particular order? Maybe you roll with it. You can see my top five. Sure, podcast, mate. Do it more. Right. I'm going to go. Call a They're first. all middle like that. That's all five. Nah, 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 nah. Right. So I'm going to go f- f- just for me as a fan, and not who I think. So you can tell us about who they are. Right. So, so number one, one, I'm going to paint my. I've heard yeah, it. Yeah, he, 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 play he, play he played for the Colts and then he went to Denver. Best number one overall pick of all time. Mm-hmm. Uh, just, just an absolute fucking boy. Also, also got fucked. True yeah, fact. yeah. I'd recommend. Oh, him. Yeah. Him. He's, he's, boy. Boy. he's so funny as well, man. You know, he's one of those guys that's like successful and brilliant, but likable as well. You know, like a lot of times he just totally looked out for people at the top of the game. You know, mm-hmm. but he's my boy. Number two, I'm gonna go John Elway. The greatest Bronco of all time, another quarterback, you all know who that is. Um, He's got a good highlight video. Yeah, man, the boy, the Duke of Denver. We're really going to research these guys now. Yeah, we're going to have to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll try yeah. and edit their photos onto the thing. <laughs> like I'm just going to be picking all Broncos, though. That's fine. Uh, Von, Von Miller still playing. 
Just an outside linebacker, Super Bowl MVP, mm-hmm. the boy, the sack mm-hmm. master. Another boy. Um, <laughs> all the boy. All the boy. Yeah. Uh, Terrell Davis, running back okay. for the Broncos. I'm um, like j- juggling something ahead about here. And probably Steve Atwater. Another Bronco. So I'll call it Mitchell Picks there. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And the formation. No, one, 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 one. No, 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 no. <laughs> all, the, all the American fans are like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, you picked them over Shannon Chuck. But yeah, yeah, they're all mine, but super biased, every single one of them has picked the Bronco. Absolutely. As is, as is tradition, I'm sure. Well, to be fair, we all think they usually get the person to pick their team's favourite living, so it makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 He knows that because he's watched all the episodes anyway, yeah. so yeah. 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 And exactly. he's, and he's not like one fan. He's like to subscribe yeah. and talk from that bell. <laughs> Why do you subscribe, people? <laughs> and right, so we'll go to F one as well. You just pick two, two, two drivers to fill your seats for the season. Who do you have in mind? Oh, James and Button. I'll give you a test driver <laughs> as well. James and Button, Lando Norris. Is that simple as that? Yes, yeah. sir. Is that a McLaren? Of course it is. Yeah. yeah. It's like that red and white Senna McLaren from back in the day. Whoa. Yeah, See, I've always like m- seen McLaren as like silver and black. Yeah. I didn't know it was like red, like that sort of. They've yeah, gone back yeah, to the red ones. Yeah. And I know I've they seen the like car. car. It was like orange and blue, wasn't yeah, it? Like bloody Rangers and Rangers. Yeah, yeah. 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 So was that was that like old school McLaren colours as well? I, I think that was just like an anniversary one. Just okay. Making it, we'll call it old school. They're uh, orange and blue just now. Orange. They're kind of like a total white like, and blue colours. Yeah. So. Okay. Oh, and I get a test driver. Get a test driver as well. Can't pick something good for you to test driver. Can I ask you something? Just what, do it yourself, mate. What if, what if, what if, <laughs> what if uh, Lando's got a wee injury and somebody needs to step in? Oh, mate, you've got, you've got to be big cool that then, isn't oh, it? Oh, big DC. Yeah. He's got the biggest... Do you, do you know David Coulthard? Come on, Scottish head. You'll definitely see his face. He's got the biggest jaw in the world. We'll insert a photo. Like, do that. The strongest jaw you've ever seen. Your crimson chin was based off that. That's it. He's from money though, isn't he? Because what is it? That haulage company, Cool Tabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's like... His dad or something. Yeah. Yeah. All these rich boys in F1, yeah. Yeah. All the car drivers as well. Super biased, dude. I like it. I'm all about my own team, man. Yeah. Fuck everybody else. Where's your McLaren tab? Are you getting that wee shh? Not late loading, that's so shit. When somebody uh, asks for a neck tick of their hair next time, just like say, do the McLaren. Next time, that's what we're doing after this. Yeah. Just. <laughs> <laughs> you got a good one, man. It's on camera. <laughs> it's on camera. I'm just like, no! Do you believe that that was the fat Ronaldo? That's coming for you. That's not it. What would you like? Comment down below what you're trying to get. And the McLaren swoosh or the Ronaldo. <laughs> oh, we'll all get to it one million subscribers. <laughs> yes, the Mel's amazing. I might add for that. <laughs> yeah, million subscribers will do it. <laughs> one day. One day. When we get Lando Norris up. <laughs> no, that would be unbelievable, man. You'd be the batter, like, hey! He's a batter, man. I'd get too shy to talk to him, and what would be like his best mate? Yeah. Well, there you go. I think we've had a good week of podcast, though. Yeah, well, awesome. awesome. well, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much for having us on. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Come back yeah. come on again. Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't mind. Yeah. After yeah. I've seen. Uh, no, oh, we've already seen it. What am I about? We had a break. I think we've both had a that. After I've seen it again, we'll come back. What we're going to watch next? Come back. We'll do a director's commentary. The dude. Bye, so get down to Lawrence and cut your hair for some DR or Aberdeen. Yeah. And maybe Glasgow and Edinburgh. I'm laughing if you mentioned the, the merchandise. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Nice t shirt. I mean, that's actually, it. I mean, I actually yeah. bought it for. I mean, yeah, I'm fine. 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 I'm Thanks very much for having me. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much for having me. So please like, subscribe, and. Rend that down. We've been.